Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to Simutrons! Now, I was trying to, um, make some things more efficient. And I learned something. Apparently, we have so many chemicals that this one pharmacy can't take them all. Like, we, we, we can pump out chemicals like nothing else. So, we have a lot of chemicals sitting here, to say the least, as well as printer's ink. So we don't need oil, which is a problem. Um, basically, I'm trying to remedy the uh, situation down here by sending up more paper trains. Um, it still run one or two more, it looks like. So, I'll go ahead and set up another paper train. And start. There we go, another paper train. Um, if we need more paper, I can always, um... Which would not appear to be true, because these guys can't produce it fast enough. And these guys have paper out the wazoo. Are, are we, are we offloading paper? Apparently, the place that we were taking paper says it doesn't need paper. Which is not true. Maybe that'll get it going again so that we're delivering paper? Yeah, there it goes, okay. Because we could use quite a bit of paper, really. Um. Yeah, basically, I am, I'm trying to make things more efficient. So, there is a little pharmacy down here. I, th I think it was down here. Oh, wait. Yeah, I hovered over there for a second. Ah, it's down here. And basically, I want to begin uh, bringing stuff to these people. Because I'm such a nice person like that. And so, you know, I'll just throw this out here and around the back door. There we go. We have a pharmacy. Stop. Now you might be wondering, wait, why, why are you doing that? I just, this is absurd. Eh, not really, actually. Um, we will get into uh, transportation here soon. I just wanted to make this as efficient as possible because it is the underbelly of our uh, corporation. So is completely worth getting set up and working properly and um, quickly. So, I also want to bring some meds down here. Well, that's not much of a problem, actually. Because what we can do... Eh, uh, yeah, this one's probably closest to pharmaceuticals. Grab two of these, then of course boxed goods. Eventually we can have planes do this, but that's not till like way out there. Get a hundred percent here, then we take it over here. We drop it off. And we can start this train. Um we might have to have two trains run this, which is Good. It would be fine. Uh, where did I set that up? Right here. Need some box goods. We need them from here down to here, 100%. And I'm going to go ahead and fill up six of these. Uh, we'll call it the... We'll call it 
call it the farm. And the farm. Um, well, I guess we should call it something else. Oakstead Farm. <laughs> Copy that until we have six of them, and we can start them. And now, up here, we should begin getting more chemicals waiting. And these chemicals will be for down there, because, um, just because of the way things work. Because this one, this one up here is full of chemicals. It, it doesn't need any more, that is for sure. As you can see here, it has 400 chemicals. Uh, with that being said, though, uh, it is good to continue. Like, we might even have to take it to this pharmacy, but... Ooh, that's a ways down there. We're, we're going to want to try to set up an airport for that. Uh, like, we can ship it down on the... Mm, we could ship it down on a train. But I would rather just set up an airport somewhere. Um... Probably like over here, we would ship the chemicals over to here, and then we would fly them down to the pharmacy. Yeah, yeah, because that's not that much difference of a distance to get it down to here. <laughs> uh, so that's what I would do. Especially since, yeah, especially since it's up here. So you go down here, and fly it down, and so that's the way we'll get to that one later on. But for now. For now, we won't do that. Obviously. Um, obviously, traffic is picked up because we have... We really have no public transportation services right now. Um, keeps traffic busy. I'll tell you that. Anyways, down this line, we should be having... Some chemicals. Oh, those are for the bookstore. Oh, those, those are for the bookstore. Stop, stop following the bookstore. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Um, these should be our chemicals. Indeed. More trains and stuff you have, the, um, the lag your your game will get. So, it's good to note that. Anyways, it's coming into the station. Especially with all this traffic, because I think the game's simulating all that everywhere on the map. The game definitely wasn't made for big maps. Let's just put it that way. Now all these guys are full and are just going to take off this huge convoy. <laughs> Getting ready to take some pharmaceuticals down to this place. Down to this town. Anyways, I think down here at Oakstead is actually where we're going to start our transportation. Um, we could also do some at Ashton. Yeah, I'm thinking right here since it's... I mean, like, up here too. But right here especially because it's right off my railway. Not far. And so it's going to have a, uh, a quick stop up to the railway if we want to do that. Uh, link cities together via the rails. Which be a bad idea. It probably will. Um... We could probably get that timber plantation down to wherever it wants to go as well. Yeah, we could we could ship it to this paper mill if we really wanted to, but I, I think we already have enough timber going there. It'd be better to get it off to, a, like, a sawmill. Is that what this is? All the way down to that Sawyer's workshop, but um, that would be a branch line, I'm thinking, because it's not very close to the main the main line. Um, which we have a few small branch lines like this. Um, 
mainly they're very small loops. But, um, like these two. These two are just branch lines. They branch off, they don't even loop. I mean, you know, it, it does happen. Does this thing even need to produce any more paper yet? No. Uh, that's kind of funny. We'll say this, though. Once you get everything, like, this up and running and just in epic proportions, it's pretty cool just to watch him fast forward. Uh, let's see. We're still taking pharmaceuticals down, so that's good. What's up at this city? Oh, uh, we have a... We do have a little something up here. Not that it's worth much. This will basically all be connected by... Just... Trucks are going to be what service this area. Um, that being said, there's not much here that actually has to have anything done with it. Oh boy, well if planes could get it up there, I'd say sure, but I think that'll go to that coal power station. Um, we have a bookshop down here. I think this can service? Oh, it can't. Huh. Anyways, like I said... Truck, trucks and uh, maybe a tram. Trams will probably uh, service these cities as well. Just to get people back and forth. Um, but yeah, I need to set up a tram in here. We can start that in a second. I was going to say maybe. But no, we, we definitely can. I just need to figure out one control. How do I turn on the smart hide? I mean, we can hide all city buildings, but that's not really what I want to do. Mm. As you can see, there's a bunch of hotkeys that I never use. find, actually. Hmm, <laughs> let me just try this one. Yeah, that's why I thought it hides all, but that's okay. For now. There's a smart hide where, as you go around, it uh, hides certain buildings, but this will work for now. Um, so trams basically create rails that go over roads. That's what they're good for. And, um... That's what we're gonna do in this big city, because there's gonna be quite a few people, I feel, and, um... Tram will probably be cost-efficient enough to do it. As you can see, we're rolling in the dough. We, we don't need to worry about money anymore. <laughs> so we can probably get started on the people aspect of everything. So let's go ahead and bring this up. Now, for the most part, I'm going to be putting bus stops down. Now, you might be wondering, why, why, why a bus stop? Well, trams can use train rails. They can use um, road stations. They have basically whatever they want. Which is a really, really neat feature. About trams. Um, and the idea here is to get as many stops as possible, while you know, still making it efficient. I want to put something over here, but I know I can't without really getting weird. Um, yeah, that too. That's just kind of out there. Well, then again, it is a tourist destination. Uh, this building right here is. So, it's probably worth putting a stop here. And then, at, uh, City Hall, it's always worth putting a stop, so. Uh, it would actually be better... Let's see, because that doesn't reach it, right? Yep, so we'll grab this one.
which is a tourist destination again. Uh, right here, I think. Yep. And you know what? We'll uh, we'll have to grab this one as well. I just realized this church is a tourist destination. Basically, any building that shows up is a tourist destination. And now we can just put trams, which these go right on the roads. So that's actually really sweet. Hopefully they don't cost too much. Yeah, they're fine. Even though I say it's alright to just go do whatever, I'm... I need to check. Because... Wait, do I seriously not have a stop there? No, I don't. It would be worth probably putting one here imagine. And since I have to go through there anyways to loop, I just will. So yeah, so basically it's going to be a uh, looping one. And then I want to electrify all this track. Because otherwise we're going to be pulling it by horse. And <laughs> really, it's very slow. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put the uh, station out here. Go ahead and electrify it. Build a tram depot. Oh, why, why can't I build a depot here? Oh, I, I see the problem. Give me a second. I will fix. There's a road there. Now we'll go ahead and build a tram. And we want electric. I think I figured out that this one is just overall better. Um, it costs more at the beginning, but it's just overall better because it costs less to maintain and stuff. Um, that one costs point. Oh, that's right. These two are the same. This one just holds more passengers and is less weight. Yeah, it's just overall better too. So, um, you usually don't put any percentages on these. If you were going to. Uh, just put like 1% and put that at heavy stops because let me tell you whoop, I don't want the waypoint and that's why it's so much harder to make money with passengers because you have to have to have to hope that it'll work out and it's just like oh well, you can't guarantee that so anyways I'm probably going to not put this as a um as a line at the moment anyways yep that's what i was hoping for just for passengers waiting to take off um now this thing is actually going to be pretty fast on these rails because i think the rails can get up to 50 and this thing can get up to 54 so It'll actually be slightly slower than these tram rails can take it, but uh, it'll be fine. This almost makes me think I could run a train. I, we could just run a huge tram up and down. Um, that is definitely something we can do. Like, you know, put a tram station here and then have it come down here because that is something we want to do I might also have it come down here. but yeah I think I think I was right in doing this because I'm pretty sure this tram will make money the other nice thing about trams is even though it runs on the roads um, even though it runs on these roads it won't have a problem what am I trying to say it won't have a problem doing something Wow, we could actually run a couple of these trams, really. Um, but for now, just have to leave it how it is and have some unhappy passengers. Oh yeah, this thing's easily making money. I thought this wasn't going to be a big money maker, but no, no. If you if you find big cities, trust me, you can make money off this stuff. Oh yeah, it's making a good profit. 
And in fact, I needed to go to the depot again. <laughs> Can I have you go to the depot? I need to rig you up a little bit more. I need to go ahead and put a few more of these on. There, now try it. <laughs> oh, we were filling up with passengers. So run a bigger tram. Should help it. Uh, I need to make sure I'm not running one that's too big. Then again, that's easily find outable. Might be slightly too big. Man, the people love their public transportation around here. <laughs> it's always just dropping it so low. I mean, it's not like we're ever filling up. understand that one necessarily, but... And it is consistently making money, so I'm just gonna leave it and hope that it does good. But yeah, this is basically going to happen in a big city. There's no way you can make everyone happy and your stops are going to fill up like crazy. Um and that's why you should choose a big city. Like if you're going to if you're going to start out with transportation, which you can actually do. Um I have done it before. You can make money off of it. It's just it takes longer. You probably aren't going to get this rush of 1 million dollars and whatnot. It also doesn't look as cool. Um, because you're gonna be, like, in this one city for forever, watching it and fast-forward until you finally make enough money. Whereas with these trains, and look what we've made. <laughs> so, there is that. Um, I'm thinking a tram up to here might not be a bad idea here soon. And probably a tram down to there, too, uh, just because I can. Uh, essentially, we'll just have a tram out of the city here like this. And then... Build up to here. And these can be pretty small trams, for sure. Just because not much goes on in the small cities. I mean, there is a tourist attraction here, so... I mean, I don't have any trams that are faster than the slow rail. So yeah, trams can basically use rail, road, whatever the, whatever they want to. Whatever the crap they want to. Um, I'm gonna have a station up here. That it'll hit up. And then it'll shoot down into the city. Uh, and do its thing down there. would be unloading passengers. And so something interesting to note here is if you go here, it'll say customers live in. Uh, sometimes it'll say workers live in, but this is basically the people who are coming to get stuff. And so it says uh, there's quite a few in Hepidin, not a lot, but most of them come from Oakstead. And so we want to get people up to Oakstead. And how are we doing that now? Well, my friends, we are going to use the power of science. OK, 
okay, maybe not science, but you, you get what I'm trying to say. Uh, can, is there a specialty tool for people? No. Um. It's actually a real bummer. What I can end up doing here is just do this. Um, I kind of want that connected though first. So what I can do here is put mail, because I might do mail eventually, uh, and then do this. And that'll basically let lots and lots of people hang out here, which is good, uh, to say the least. And then we're obviously going to have a stop up here. Um, we'll probably do it like this, so that way I can hold lots of people. But then we'll put down some... Can I do that? <sighs> yeah, I can. So, you know, if you're needing bigger trams, you can actually put the train stations directly down here, and the buses can use them too. So... I mean, you know what, that, that's just what we'll do from now on, is just use that technique. Um, and that should be... That should be plenty. Um... Which, in saying that, I didn't want to delete the people, but whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and put that down. And that'll just let the uh, tram do its job a little bit easier. Okay, the other thing we need to do is electrify all this track. So... Do the old click one place, click the other place, finish it off. And we still have money out the wazoo. Not worried about that at all, then. I mean, we're almost up to two million. Basically, once you get it going, you just keep making and making, and it's not a problem. Uh, I feel like we're going to need a fairly hefty electric. Um, I mean, it says that that's all that it can do, so I'm going to have to go with that. Up to here, up to here, then a little thing. Uh, it's not too important on this one. Weird. Normally there's a copy backwards option, and it'll uh, allow you to uh, copy it backwards, but this one doesn't have that copy backwards. So you actually have to literally say, oh, go back to this one first. Whatever. And go ahead and start that one. And it'll make that uh, in-city tram a lot busier. So, um, let me actually see what I can do about some of these stations. I mean, obviously, if I can't handle them, I can't handle them. But, hold on. I want to go ahead and look at this train. It should now say a waypoint where I wanted it to stop originally. And I just want to put that there. I mean, obviously, I'm going to have to go through the entire city and do that. Um, which means probably hiding the buildings again just to help me out. But you get the picture. If I do that with especially the major stops, then that'll be okay. Now, I might have overbuilt this tram right now, but that's okay, actually. Um, just because even if it loses money, we obviously have the ability to take that in stride. Surprisingly, though, I mean, it's losing money, but it's doing... it's holding its own. It's gonna make money. So, yeah, I mean, we're good. <laughs> Um, it's not going to make money as fast as, like, I would like it to, probably, but it's going to keep the money rolling, so. Uh, I think it'll probably just hold its own more likely than not, but it's still good. And the reason you don't use trains, because trains can actually go on tram tracks, um, is a little bit of something nice to know. So they can actually literally go through the city here. Um, oh yeah, one thing I was going to go ahead and do was put up some signals that way. No, 
I like the tram. The tram knows what in the world it's doing. I don't think it ever has to worry about that, but uh, just in case. And I mean, like, these one-way stops, they would no longer work if I just suddenly was like, Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make the tram go insane! Wouldn't work so well. Uh, this one I think is fine. These ones really get, uh, hooked up. So, let me see here. That was right in front of the church, I think. Right in front of the church. Let's see how accurate I was. Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and replace this one as well because it has only happy people. It was down in that crevasse. Uh, up here. Can I just replace the stop? Oh, I can. I can just up, straight up upgrade the stop by doing that. Well, that's a lot easier. I'll tell you that right now. Oh my goodness, I've really run this one long. But anyways, yeah. So we have begun. Um... Evil transportation. Oh, and it looks like it might get uh, stuck behind vehicles a bit, but... This is definitely usually better than your average Joe. And now this one's able to um, take care of its passengers a lot better and faster. I can see that now. Oh my goodness, but the town hall stop. The town hall stop really, really enjoys what it does. <laughs> yep, that's proper English. It really likes getting up there. Oh, same with that church. It's bound to happen, though. I mean, there, there are just times when you can't handle the capacity. Uh, I could run a few buses try to make up for that, but uh, I don't think it would work. I mean, it's just what happens in the big cities, and that's how you can for sure make money using transportation, is starting a big city. That is the one thing I would say. Look at this guy. He's... He's easily holding his own. Um... But yes, I must end it here. Uh, next time, we will continue our public transport endeavors, and probably set up this tram right here goes from here to here. Uh, mm, that's actually not a good tram. I just realized. It should go... Like this. Yeah. Uh, let me go ahead and remove the rails. Up to that point. Because... That's no good. Yeah, anyways, next time, we'll take care of this here tram. Uh, and it'll be good. So until then, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye!